So the last couple of days we've just had a lot of rain, cloud, no sun. And my lower voltage, my 12 volt systems are starting to run low on power. So I need to do some catch up today and try and get some power back into some batteries. So I'm running around with solar panels playing catch up. So I thought I would bring you with me and show you what I'm doing today to catch up on a little bit of power because I know this is an interest in some of my subscribers. So uh, where do we start? Let me turn the phone around, we'll have a look. So first panel I wanna have a look at here is the uh, 100 amp hour battery in here. So I've kind of really sort of hammered this down yesterday. If I can get, let us have a look to see, well just on half an amp coming in, and the panel that I'm using is this panel here, which is the 160 watt panel, courtesy of Dave. We've got to give a thumbs up for Dave. But you can see a lot of the shading there. So I'm waiting for that sun to come up a little bit more to be able to try and take advantage of that and get this battery topped off. Now up over here, oh, and I've got it going through the uh, Vitron controller here. So up over here, I've got this 200 watt King's panel here, the fold-out panel, which I really, really have found really, really good. It's been a great panel. It's starting to get some shading already, so I need to move that across. See, I'm playing move the panel away from the shade game. Leave a comment below if you also... Oh, now I've got shading there. Oh, this is so annoying. Leave a comment below if you play the same, move the panel out of the shade game when you're out in uh, running your system. So we come into the cabin where I'm armed with my cup of morning, Joe. And what I'm doing is I'm wanting to charge up the King's back block because I've done quite a little, a few little changes in here. So I've got the King's back block charging up off that 200 watt panel, the fallout panel we just looked at. So that line just comes inside through the wall of the cabin here and onto an Anderson plug going straight into the back block and the DC to DC charger is taking care of all of that which is what the back block is meant to be doing so we're getting actually that's not bad we're getting I thought it was 21 amps now we're only getting two amps in I want more than that so I've got to do something about that sun so I just moved this panel into the sun like i said i'm playing the chase the sun game this morning but we can see we've got shadowing off these posts and the star pickets there hitting the panels so for winter time you need to come up with something different that is for sure a few moments later right so i put the panel out away from the shade and we are getting into the panel around about see this jumps all over the place We've got this fog that's decided to roll in and it's altering the light up, down, up, down, up, down and the MPPT of the uh, DC to DC is really struggling trying to lock into a nice uh, voltage slash amp to give me the power to come in. So it is just all over the place at the moment trying to lock in the MPPT because of this fog. So our sun, our sun's up over there and just have a look at this fog that is just coming in. It is just smashing in at the moment and the whole uh, valley there's starting to fog right up. So this is really becoming annoying. So we're coming to the power shed. We're gonna have a look to see what the 24 volt and the 48 volt system is doing. So our 24 volt system is sitting at 67% and we've got three amps coming in at the moment, which is, uh, what's that, 86 watts coming in from its, uh, what's it, one kilowatts worth of panels on the roof, but they are panels that are struggling. The 48 volt system is bringing in out of our two strings. Let us check that out. So we've got 200, come on phone, focus. There we go. 230 watts coming in out of string one. 
and 237 watts coming out of string 2. So we've got about 460 watts coming in out of 3.2 uh, kilowatts worth of solar. So if we have a look at the 48 volt system state of charge, we can see we're only running at around 55% state of charge. Now we're bringing into the batteries around about the 3 amps, 3.8 amps, about 200 watts. So after the cabin's consuming its power, there's 200 watts left of the solar power going in to the batteries down in here, which are three 100 amp hour 48 volt uh, batteries. So if we come into the main 12 volt system where we've just put the iTech World battery box in place, we have a look to see what is coming in off our 400 watts of solar on the roof of the cabin. Well, we can see that we've got pretty well much power leaving the battery. So we're not getting much in from the solar at all. Now I do have the diesel heater going. So our diesel heater is going as well as the fridge over here is also running at the moment. I'll tell you a little secret. I upgraded the line yesterday to this fridge, just for those people that are wondering. Let me see if I can get down in there for you. So we've run a line of 6BNS cable now to drop the uh, reduced volt drop. And when this is running, I'm getting 13 volts out of the end of this on a 20 meter run. So that, that is a thumbs up for the 6BNS cable. It's definitely doing its job. So, our batteries are getting down a little bit, so you know what that means. Yeah, that's right. I'll leave a comment below if you know what that means, because that's right. What we'll do is we'll start the generator up, because if you look behind us, well, the clouds are in, and that is what it is going to be for day three. So it's been three days of this. So I'm not doing too bad if I've got three days, or at least two days and we're running down to about 50% on our batteries. So we'll probably go another day, but let's give that generator a little bit of a run. This has not been started since the last time I did a cold start video on this generator. So, is it going to start? Let's see. Let me give it a little bit of a go again. The problem when you run lithium batteries, you don't run your generators enough. Come on, there it goes. Look at that! Right, we are now running off our generator. So we're charging the battery off the charger here, and then the power is also going into the cabin from the generator. So let's that's let us re-look at what we've got going in to the battery now. So, we have 45 amps going into the uh, battery. So, we've got nearly well, 2.4 kilowatts of power going into the battery. So, what we'll do now is, because we need to run the uh, charge up the 48 volt system, I'm going to bring on this charger here which is the uh, iTech World 20 amp charger. So that is going to now start charging up the batteries for the 24 volt system. And last of all, we are going to charge the King's Bat Block up with the battery charger, the AC battery charger as well. Now I wanna make a point here. This battery charger is actually an AGM battery charger. And there's a little bit of a myth out there that you cannot charge a lithium battery with an AGM battery charger. Well, that is incorrect. You can charge a lithium battery on an AGM battery charger. And we can see we are bringing in a total of nearly 20 amps. So 19.6 amps is going into the battery. However, once the battery is full or the battery charger has hit the float mode, we have to take the battery charger off. So we can charge it up, we just can't leave it on there. And then what we can do is plug into a solar panel and just charge that last little 
couple of percent the battery needs to be full and help balance out. So you can charge from an AGM charger, but you can't leave it on when the battery is full and you need to top that battery off with a proper lithium charger or a solar controller. So just a little bit of info for you. If you've got a lithium, a AGM battery charger and you are in a bit of a pinch and you need to get power, this is fine, it works a treat. Well, the clouds won that one. I thought I was going to bring you a solar video charging up all my batteries with solar panels, but the clouds had other thoughts in mind. Like always, when we do solar videos, out come the clouds. It always happens. But anyway, this is, I guess, part of the joys of living off grid. This is what we do when we have bad weather and we need to get power into our batteries. We play the chasing the sun game or run the generator, one of the two. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and wait for the next awesome video that'll be coming out on the off grid channel. So the 400 watt panel is putting in to the King Bat Block around about five and a half amps on, it can't be 55 amps, that's not right. You got it on a state of charge, Glenn. Flip it over.